All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to pick another powerful package manager or installer apart from Chocolaty. So as we already saw about Winget, we're trying to see another package manager called Scoop, right? So Scoop is similar to Chocolaty, right? Choco, which is a very powerful, famous one. But there's also another one called Scoop, which is what we'll be trying to check out first. So in case you don't have Scoop on the system, you can just follow this link to see how to install it on the system, right? So just copy this one and then go to your PowerShell and then you can install it. So Scoop is a command line installer for Windows, which gives you the option of being able to install and manage your application or your softwares on Windows in a very simple way, right? So in case you want to install them. So let's see how to do that. So I'll go back to my terminal, right? Which is here. And like, as you can see, I was already checking some out. Then in case you don't have it on the system, you can just install it with this option. And then you move on to the next command, which is here, right? So this is how to install it on your system. I already have it installed. So it's going to tell me that it's already installed, right? So Scoop is already installed on your system. That is how to install Scoop on your system. So as we saw he here, there is an option of being able to search for a particular package on Scoop. So I can come back here and then search for a particular package. So we have the apps and we have a bucket. So a bucket in Scoop is just like the repository where you can get packages, right? So there are several buckets. It's just like, yeah, the repository. So just like the sources list. So we have Nearsoft whereby you can get a lot of packages from Nearsoft. We have uh, packages for Scoop games, Stress, main, this is the main official one. So if you look for a package, it's going to check in this particular bucket and fetch it for you, right? So that is the basic understanding. So let's see how to work with it. That is for bucket. And then the app is the normal application that we have, right? So you can search for it here. You can also search for it from the command line, which is here. So let's start. I already have Scoop installed. So if I go with version, I already have the version 0 0.319 and then i can just check the various stuff right so you can see from here that the default is the main bucket that is the main repository that is pointing to where it can fetch the packages so i can just go back again and see the various methods and the various things you can do with scoop so we have alias buckets you can manage scoop buckets you can cache you can cut you can do these things so let's check it out so let's say i want to install a package called new right oh yeah or a package like any other package that I want to install. So to, to check it out, you can just go with scoop, search, then you can just search for the particular package. So let's search for, say, new Vim. If it's installed on our system, it's going to check its repository if it's available. It's just like doing the same thing here. So new Vim, right? It's just like doing the same thing. And if it's available, it's going to give you the bucket to add right so it is the main bucket which is the default one and then how to install it right so it's telling me that it's found here and i think i already have new vim which is nvim i do not have nvim so in case i want to install it i can just go with scoop but before i install let's get information about it so just go to info right and you can get information about this particular package that you have just as we saw here there was uh, sh mm, there was info here right so you can actually do info to get information about it so info then i can just go with my new vim so it's going to give you the information the description the version the packet and then the location of it in case you want to see this right you can click on it to to, to go to the home page or you can do scoop home then the name of the package and this is going to automatically op open it for us. So you can see that that's open it for us from here. I hope you can see it. Yeah, which is this one here. Right, so it's, it's automatically going to go to the location of the package, right? So in case I try another one, say, let's say I want to go to the home page. So let's search for another package. So scoop, search for something like, you can search for something, uh, any package we have. So let's say we want to search for PS code or bracket. If it's available, at least the editor. 
so there is a back brackets right it's the name is even brackets and in case i want to go to the home page so i can just go to scoop to be sure then home brackets so there's no manifest file for this right so uh, that is how to go to the home page i can also try another one so we try you can try for rust scoop search rust so just search if i have it i've already installed rust on my system you see that i've already installed there are different rust versions we have rust rust gnu rust analyzer and the rest so in case i want to go to the home page so home rust and now automatically it has opened the rust page which is very cool right out of the box perfect so let's see how to install a particular stuff right so to install you can just go with scoop install then the name that we had right so in case i want to install what we did previously i want to install new vim right i can just go with new vim and then it's going to update the main repository it's going to fetch it for us right so you see that it's downloading it very nice user interface extracting it doing all of these things behind the scenes for you then it's going to store it in this location in your home folder called scoop inside your apps so scoop is very nice it scoops all your application that you are installing in one directory which is home and it's going to add it to your path right so that you have it separated from the other stuff from your ring get packages and stuff okay so it's taking some time to fetch and then install it perfect so i've extracted it so if i go back to my location so that is perfect and everything right so just put it in this particular location and this is the current version that's successfully installed it perfect that is how to install the package on and with scoop okay so let's see how to see all the packages that are installed on your system so it's going to be scoop list if i go with scoop list i can list all the packages i've installed on my system because i only have new vim and rust on my system right and the source is the bucket they are fetching from so there is a lot of sources and this is when it this was the date that it was updated or it was installed so in case i want to get all the list of the sources i can just go with scoop right and i can specify that okay i want to get all the bucket list on my system right so currently i only have main because this is coming from main but in case i want to get the global bucket list like all of this which is coming from here if i go back to if i will be correct which is here right in case i want to get all the buckets so there's stress there's main there's versions there's stress version in case i want to get all the list of the buckets right i can do that with this option so scoop bucket then i'll just go with no so bucket known is going to list all the buckets that is available that is the repository the sources list so we have main which is the one we have on my system we have stress versions near soft sys internals php net fonts and the rest right so i can add a bucket so scoop bucket i want to add let's say extra it's going to add it to my list checking the repository so that I can install a package that comes from extra. Just adding it. Then I can also add another one. So let's say I want to add one from Nairsoft, which is here. Perfect. So now if I go back and I check scoop bucket list, now my list is going to be having the three of them. So we have extra, main, and Nairsoft, right? So the previous one, we did not have it. Now we have added it. You can also remove a bucket in case you don't want to scoop bucket you can also remove it right if you check the stuff you can do so there is there is add there is rm to remove right so you can actually remove it so scoop let's say i want to remove so bucket remove and what do i want to remove i want to remove near soft now it's gone so if i go back and i check it out then now it is no more there so the previous we had the three of them here 
but now we do not have it right because we have removed it right that is very cool so you can keep it minimal perfect so let's check the list of packages that we have and see if there's any update so scoop list will list all the packages i have scoop status will list the packages i have which of them needs an update so scoop is up to date so everything is okay right so i don't need an update in case i want to do a check of any dependencies that they are lacking right if there are any errors i can just go with scoop then i can just check check up and this is going to check and see that okay i do have seven zip is not installed you know setup is not installed that gets uninstalled which is very cool right? with the same option of doing the checkup in case you have a package and you want to scan it for virus you can just go with scoop virus twitter oh wow. that's a nice quick no then let's click uh, tender or like analyze you know, because it's raining here so scoop virus total then you have to specify the api key right you have to give the api key so we'll go to virus total which is here so we have virus total so virus total right this particular place and you create an account from here and then you get the api you sign up and you get an api and you use which is here right and then when you get the api you can now go back to your terminal and supply the api key right and then you can do a lot of things so if i go with help you can see what you can do so the application and then options you have to specify your api key configure them and then check it out right so that is another stuff you can do one final thing that you can do with scoop which is very very cool is that you can also just like in winget you can just go with scoop so let's move to my document to jcaris to tweets and then i want to import the package so you can export so we had these packages i can go with scoop export and then you just go with the option right so you specify the path so scoop export then you export it to location so scoop export then i can export all the packages i have to a particular file so let's go just uh, can give it like scoop scoop export let's call it as my file right so pkg file.json and now it's going to convert all the packages i have on my system right together with the allocation on a file right and this is the file and the contents of the file right which is very cool you can also import it so you can just go with scoop import then just go with the path which is the path that we had pkg file.json that's another way right in case you move on a different system so these are some of the things you can do with scoop of course there are a lot of things you can do but these are some of them you can also check for dependencies scoop help you can see that you can check for you can download a particular package you can check for dependencies you can create you can do search and there are lots of things right perfect you can also uninstall the package right which is good now once that as i said all the stuff you are doing whatever activity you are doing is going to be stored in a particular place right that you can actually check it out so they are found here i want to show you a moment if you go back to your home directory and then you just go to let's hide this and then let's check it again yeah there are a lot of things there but yeah some private stuff but you get to it you just go to your documents and you go to your system right your home directory for your system wherever it is so here if we go to my users go to jesse there is a scoop folder here right which is the one here if i open it this is where it's installed on the package so we have the apps so all the packages have installed new vim the particular current version the actual tool is here which is very cool so at least it is separating it from you right it's making it easy so it's, it's storing it here and the same thing happens to your if you download a package 
it's going to be installed here right that's the package installer very cool and then there is also shims and there is also buckets right so extra very cool so that is something very basic thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you have learned something in case you have any question or contribution you can put it in the comments below and let me know your opinion about scoop and then about this series we are doing there are a lot of things you can do with it so in the next session you try and see another package manager see you another time stay blessed Paka paka. bye bye choose